back to my channel. Um, it was been uh, it was a while. I have I haven't done any videos. Um, I had a short holiday, but anyway, you could see that I was. You can see um, um, on the video I was flying the hexacopter here outside. Uh, my main idea was to take this hexacopter and see how it does outside. Well, having uh, sort of uh, was sort of windy day, uh, having some wind outside, and um, I wanted to see how it does, you know, outside uh, in um, you know um, flying more real conditions. And I think this actually little drone can do way much better if the P if the PADs were to be adjusted. The PADs were raw, so I couldn't really do much. Um, well, having to ask, um, I think it's. Uh, Pretty impressive uh, this little thing with uh, brushed motors uh, the throttle punch uh, felt not bad actually uh, however uh, you can see what has happened and I had to stop flying it uh, uh, so my uh, end comment would be um, um, if you were to get one of these uh, frames it's cool but don't get one millimeter well you you can but it it is my advice and you can see from my experience it crashes very it breaks very easy so uh, maybe you um i would ad advise you to get um two frames and maybe uh, put them one on another i don't know i don't know how you would sort out it with um, um motor rings but one millimeter is not enough i think 1.5 or either two millimeters would do way much better um yeah so um if you're looking to build a um, brushed uh, hexacopter pay attention to the frame um to the thickness of the frame um i'll see you next time happy flying